Off the back of yesterday's update, we did get a new conversion kit added into the game, which we'll discuss in this video, but also we will be getting the new season reloaded update next week as well, which we'll be covering all of that. Now, what I do want to cover in this video is the top three best sniper and SMG combination loadouts for Rebirth Island or basically Resurgence in general. So the first thing I want to cover is the sniper rifles themselves. Now there's only three sniper rifles in this game that can one shot headshot and the ranges change depending on which gun you're actually using. So we're going to cover these guns right now. And the ones that actually one shot headshot is the CAT AMR, the XRK Stalker and the new Moors Sniper. So these are the three that one shot headshot. I've also added the MCPR 300 in here as well, just so you can see that. But this is at every single range that you get in this game at 300 HP with a headshot only. And that's kind of the main thing because you want to make sure you are getting the headshots to make these guns actually viable. Now, as you can see here, the XRK Stalker, which is actually the quickest, most kind of aggressive sniper in the last, does have the shortest damage range. So you only get that one shot headshot up to about 50 meters. Now this can be extended with attachments, which is what we'll show you in just a moment, but just keep this in mind. Then right after that, we do have the Moore Sniper, which drops off at 76 meters. And again, this can be extended with attachments. But again, there is ways to make this basically a one shot out to infinity as well. And we'll discuss that uh, in just a moment. And then we do have the Cat AMR, which is a one shot headshot out to infinity range. And that is why it's still a really solid choice. Next up, I want to show you the sniper support options or the SMGs, if you will, which they're basically SMGs now with all these new conversion kits that have been added into the game. We have the HRM9, which is exactly an SMG in that category. We've got the BP50 with the new conversion kit, which is essentially an SMG. We've got the MCW also with its conversion kit, again, which is essentially an SMG. And we've also added the WSP Swarm here as well, just for comparison's sake. And also, it's still a pretty decent choice in terms of time to kill. Now, what you want to see here is that the time to kills in that first damage range are all very, very close. I mean, there's not really going to be much that separates these guns, especially when you're landing all chest shots or body shots. And the only main thing you want to focus on here is where the damage actually drops off. Because again, as a sniper support, this is another really important thing. So the WSP Swarm has the shortest damage drop off at 6 meters. And again, this can be extended, but not by much. Now we do have the HRM9, which does go out to about 10, 11 meters. And again, this can be extended a bit. So definitely a bit more viable. The BP50 again drops off just slightly after the HRM which again is not amazing but it's definitely more viable than obviously something like the Swarm and this cannot be extended because there's not any barrel attachments for this conversion kit and then we do have the MCW which has an insanely good TTK but also out to 20 meters which can also be extended as well. So moving on into the classes now we do have all these different combinations of weapons you can mix and match them as you please and I'll go over which ones I think are kind of the kind of best choices in the game. But let's start off with the Moors and the BP-50. So in terms of the loadout for the Moors and the attachments you want to be using, we've got the Ton Heavy Barrel, we've got the Super Light 90 Stock, Quick Bolt, the OP 980 Grip, and the Anti-Material Slug, which is what allows this gun to shoot a one-shot headshot out to infinity range. So you don't need to have the charging barrel on there you, you could just use the regular barrel which is the ton heavy barrel which gives you bullet velocity as you can see here bullet velocity idle sway but this will give you that one shot headshot out to infinity range which is actually a fantastic bonus of this gun again this is the super light stock this is going to help with aim down sight speed and aim walking speed just overall movement stats quick bolt helps with rechambering speed and the op 980 grip helps again with the aim down sight speed so this is the build for the moors moving into the bp50 conversion kit build now obviously you need the conversion kit itself um, as you can see here basically turns this gun into an smg for the rear grip i do think you need the tack tape it's the only thing that really helps to sprint the fire speed and the recoil on this is pretty low anyway so that is the one i would recommend going for 
everything else is pretty much blocked out and the iron sights are very clean on this gun so i don't recommend an optic kimura laser light in my opinion is the best choice here now it is visible but if you're in pretty much point blank range which is what you're going to be using this at then it doesn't really matter too much in my opinion it's the same reason for not choosing a suppressor here because you're going to be pretty much in most people's faces with these guns so you might as well get the best possible recoil benefits and really not miss out too much on being suppressed and then we are using the high grain rounds for some extra bullet velocity just to make sure you land those shots you can also choose something that gives you a bit more recoil control like the low grain rounds but that is personal preference i think the recoil on this gun is very easy to manage anyway moving on into what is my personal favorite loadout and the one that i think is actually the most well-rounded well-balanced and is probably going to be the easiest to use is the xrk stalker with the mcw and this is going to be probably the best sniper class in my opinion that's in the game so we are using the xrk stalker the build for this hasn't really changed we're trying to maximize the damage range on this gun in particular because it has the shortest drop off obviously for that one shot headshot so with this build in particular you do get that range extended from 50 to 75 meters now which is actually a lot better uh, and if you are aggressive sniping you won't really notice this too much so we're using the fission 60 barrel sonic suppressor xl the 50 cal high grain rounds is for the extra bullet velocity we're using the no stock attachment for better movement speeds better ads and we're using the stalker light bolt as well for the faster rechambering speed moving on into the mcw which is a very easy to use gun even still with that conversion kit on there so we've got the jack raven conversion kit which helps with the rate of fire and again essentially turns this gun into an smg you do want to use the 40 round mags um, so it just gives you that larger magazine capacity uh, i'm personally using the dr hand stop under barrel for the better movement speed now you can swap this out for a recoil controlling attachment if you want uh, you can also swap it out for a barrel uh, which gives you extra damage range but the 20 meters damage range already on this gun is more than enough especially comparing it to any smg or any other sniper support choice this is the best one anyway by default so you don't really need that i am using the flash hider to get better recoil control out of this so it doesn't give you um any kind of cons to movement because that is what we're trying to keep with this gun because it's still an assault rifle with those kind of stats in terms of movement stats and we are using the razor hawk laser light once again for the best possible movement speeds it's still going to be very visible so you can swap this out for something else but this is going to give you the most movement benefits moving on into the cat amr with the hrm9 build now the hrm9 is the best smg in the game even for close quarters but pairing this with the cat amr does mean that you need to alter the build slightly which is what we've done so we'll show you that in just a second but we'll start off with the cat amr and the first thing i do want to mention is that out of all the snipers on this list this has the slowest aim down sight time even with this build right here now you can adjust this build slightly to get a bit of a better aim down sight but if you want the best possible ads the mores is going to be that sniper rifle for you in this video and the stalker is second uh, in terms of aim down sight speed but when it comes to this one obviously it's a one shot headshot out to infinity so you don't need to mess about with the build too much and you know you're always guaranteed that one shot headshot all the time um, and that's obviously the main benefit of using this gun right here so we've got the sonic suppressor uh, which is going to help with velocity and range the zang barrel which is going to help with velocity and range once again we've got the razor hawk laser light which again helps aim down sight speed you could swap this out for a different optic if you prefer the optic on this gun is not the best we are using the quick bolt uh, which is going to help with rechambering speed and we are also using high velocity rounds again this is something you could swap out for the optic if you prefer to do it this way instead uh, but this is going to give you the best possible bullet velocity now this obviously does have really good bullet velocity this build but like i said you can swap out something for an optic if you prefer to do that instead so moving into the hrm9 build now the smg build of this gun is slightly different and this is probably the best way to build this gun as a sniper support obviously you do want to maximize the range from this gun because as you remember the damage drop off was not as good as the bp50 or as good as the mcw so we did use the princeps long barrel here which gives you a nice clean iron sight which definitely helps 
but also extends that damage range out a little bit further to 14.1 meters so that is the damage range of the fastest possible time to kill with this gun we are using that flash hider once again it just helps with recoil control and again we don't really need to be suppressed but if you do want to be suppressed you could choose a suppressor instead uh, we are using that laser light once again i just like having the best possible movement by any means necessary even though this is going to be visible and uh, we are using a hatchet light stock again this is going to be for the best possible strafing speeds it's probably going to be one of the benefits of using this gun over the kind of assault rifle versions that we have in this video because it's going to have slightly better movement and then we are using the 50 round drum mags which is basically the largest mags available for this weapon what i'm also going to do is quickly throw up a stat page of all the most important stats with these sniper rifles after we've added all the attachments to them you can see that on screen just now if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe we'll be covering the new season 3 reloaded update uh, next week when it drops and thank you very much for watching